Welcome back. Our next guests are here to talk about the Barbasol Horizon League men's and women's basketball championships that you can check out coming up in March. Welcome to J.R. Renbarger from the local organizing committee and Patricia Castaneda from KeyBank to tell us more about this exciting partnership. Friends, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you for yes. Us. yes. Oh, and really quick, I know you guys are ready in the crew. Can I just give a quick shout out? Sean Sullivan, don't be shy. Sean Sullivan. Hi, Sean. We're giving him a round of applause. He did public address during the All-Star game last night. Well done. Did a fabulous job. I bet you are so tired right now. We just had to say great job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can't go without mentioning that. That's right. Really, Good job, really man. That's cool. That's exciting. Well, you guys have a great group, obviously. Let's talk about maybe why you wanted to get involved in this and amplifying some of these events coming up. Yeah, well, for me, and I think for really all the folks on the local organizing committee, there's a chance to volunteer in Indianapolis, help help host yet another event that, that Indy does so well. And, and so to be able to do that and, and do it along with um, being around competitive basketball. It was a little bit of a no-brainer for yeah, us. So, right. so we get to see some really competitive basketball. And then we also had the goal of making it an ongoing community event as well. Mm -hmm. So when the Horizon League hosts its tournament, obviously we, we want to crown a champion, but we also want to put some other things around that for folks that, that are in town. And so we've got the Vallejo Fan Zone. Nice. Uh, we've got Anthem School Day. And then we've also got uh, Key Bank International Women's Day, which is yet another opportunity for people to come out and support the community. Yeah, that's great. Patricia, why does KeyBank support the International Women's Day celebration? Well, we love the competitive added, you know, the environment of the Horizon League, of course, and also the fact that uh, at KeyBank we really value anything that is diversity, inclusion, and equity, and for yeah. women it is really important to have that, mm -hmm. of course, in the space. And, um, and it is sponsored um, this is our second year, okay. as a matter of fact, because it's a great event. Yeah. It really is a great event. It's uh, a lot of women coming together to uh, hear from other wonderful women. If yeah. you've seen the lineup for our panel, we're going to be discussing just what happened over this weekend from women in the NBA. That's great. Mel Rains being one yes, of them in right. our panel. And, uh, and it's really exciting to see and to hear from these women who have really literally like crushed the, the you know, the, the glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so much going on behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. who are some of those names that are gonna be there? Um, well, we have um, Ebony Armstrong will be yeah. there, yeah. Mel Raines is gonna be there, of course, Melody uh, Park, and um, Tully. Tully Bevilacqua. Thank yep. you. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. great, what a wonderful lineup you have. Now yeah. let's talk about the when, the where, mm. all the details yeah. people need to know. Yeah, so the tournament itself starts on campus. So uh, March, uh, March 5th, they kick off, and then the final four on both the men's and women's side will be coming to Indianapolis at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. That's on great. March 11th, we'll have our first round, and then we will crown a champion on both sides March 12th. So Fantastic. coming up, I think the coolest thing is that uh, the Horizon League is the first uh, conference to crown a champion. and. Those teams will punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. That's so awesome. we like to say that March starts here yeah. uh, in Indianapolis. Yeah. That's great. And um, it's an exciting time. Yeah. Who, if someone's unfamiliar with the Horizon League, who are some of the teams that are involved? Well, locally, you've got IUPUI. You've also got Purdue Fort Wayne. Uh, and then really big cities across the Midwest is, is one of the themes that you'll see in the Horizon League. So whether that's in Detroit with Detroit Mercy, uh, up in Cleveland with Cleveland State, yeah. uh, we've got Wright State, Northern Kentucky, a handful of others. So. It's really competitive basketball. It's going to be a little more competitive than you saw last night at the All-Star Game. Yeah, a little more right. defense, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, it, but it's really exciting. And I think you're going to see a lot of parity, and it'll be an exciting championship for well, folks to come out and see. Jared and Patricia, thank you so much thank for being both. here today. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you Absolutely. for giving us a yes. preview. Yeah, you can learn more at horizonleague.com slash indie and follow them on social as well. Up next, we got to chat with NBA alum Kenny the Jet Smith ahead of his charity poker tournament. That's right. We'll show you that interview plus Rye Guy's friends from the Presequential Podcast are here for a special President's Day themed round of the Indie Now Pop Quiz. Of course, we want you to play along. We'll be right back. Yeah. I'm going to throw this basketball. Oh, where are you going? Here, heads up. Roxy, to you. Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Roxy.